Hey, how's it going guys? This is KNasty3890 here with another MLB 16 The Show video. Today we're going to be talking about the upgraded rosters that came out today, April 25th, 2016. Not really much, but we're going to go over it. There are a couple small things that can make a big difference. So let's get into the player collection. We can look at some of the cards. So the first card that we're going to look at, just because it's on this front page, is a Darren O'Day. He went from an 80 to an 84. He's a 5 star inside of so he's actually a 90 overall today. I love this card. I highly recommend him for a reliever. He's going for about a thousand stubs right now, I believe. Yep, just like right at a thousand. He got that upgrade. He might be a gold soon. I don't know, but he his delivery's funky. It throws people off. That slider is devastating with a nine on break. He doesn't throw hard, but he doesn't need to. Uh, really, really, really good pitcher. I highly recommend him in your bullpen, especially if you have trouble getting right-handed hitters out. Next, we're gonna go all the way to Oakland. We're going to be looking at another reliever that got an upgrade, and he is actually a gold now, and I went by him. Here we go. Ryan Matson. He is now an 86. He wasn't 84. He is now an 86, so he is now a gold. Now, the inside edge is putting him in an 81, but still, he is now a gold. He has gone up in value, went up about four, 500 stubs. He was about six, 700 uh, before that, so he's about 50, almost 1,200 stubs. So if you got him and you haven't um, added him to a set yet, or not set, but add him to the collection where you can't sell him, you can now get some extra steps from. Also on the A, Sean Doolittle went down to, he went from an 87 to an 85, and his price has gone down about 1,000 stubs. Right now he's only playing about a 79. I use him on my team. I actually like him. His curveball from a left-handed pitcher is one of the better ones out of the bullpen. He does still throw hard enough, like 94, 95, but a really good cha uh, curveball change-ups. Eh. But... I like him, even though he's today I may not use him as only a 79, but he's not bad. Um, now we're going to be moving on to the Chicago Cubs, as this is the big upgrade. Uh, he only went up one, but he, so that's, I mean, he went from a 95 to a 96, it's Arietta, or threw a no-hitter, he's just been dominant in the last couple years. One thing they added, which you may not know unless you look at it carefully, they gave him a fifth pitch. Before he was sinker, slider, four seam, and 12 uh, 12 uh, curveball uh, he now has a changeup so I have not used him yet this year I don't know how his changeup will affect how you use him I think it will affect a lot I love throwing changeups the, the, just being able to go off speed on people you may not get him to swing a miss you may get him to swing and hit a weak ground ball or a weak pop up so that's a big plus <clears throat> but like I said I'm not using him this year but I imagine that is a huge upgrade and he got the plus one overall as well uh, another upgrade we go to the St. Louis Cardinals. Matt Holiday now went from an 84 to an 85, so he is now a gold. Then he also changed positions. He was, I believe, left field. He is now first base. Um, that hurts his value, I believe, in the long run. I, I mean, it, it's nice that he can play first, but then his defense, if you put him in the outfield, would be even worse. And his fielding was only 50 on to begin with. Uh, so, I mean, if you're rocking on a budget or you're a big Matt Holiday fan, you want to put him at first, you can do that. But there are so many other better options at first base than this Matt Holiday. Uh, another card that got an upgrade. We're going to be looking at the Colorado Rockies. We got, I went by them again because I do that a lot. We're going to be looking at uh, Geraldo Parra. Uh, he is now, I believe he's, I believe he was a corner outfielder. He's now center field. Um, I mean, his conduct versus right is great. Everything else is kind of meh. Really good fielder, good durability. So, I mean, I guess he won't get injured. Uh, solid speed. He went up two. He was a 78. Now he's an 80. So his value's gone up about 100 stubs, not a lot. I don't expect it to change that much. But if you're a Colorado fan, you can also do, uh, look at that. Now, a guy who took a big hit, he was a silver, he is now a bronze, is Howie Kendrick. He went from a 82 to a 77. So he also has the inside injuries, minus two at everything. And I mean, his contact stats are still not bad, but I mean, there are a lot of be better second basemen. I mean, you can argue Chase Outley is even a better option now. Um, but he took a big hit. His value is probably plummeting right now. Yeah, it's going down. He was at like 400, I believe. So he took a big hit. Uh, another player on the Dodgers that went from a silver to a bronze was a Kiki Hernandez. And if I, I think I went by him. Where are you, Kiki? There you go. He was a silver. He is now a bronze. Now he is a five-star on inside edge. So that's helping us overall. It affects if you're trying to get the Adrian Bell trade because if he's a silver, he gets, you get more percentage for it. Now he's a bronze, you get less. Luckily, I had a bunch of them when he was a bronze. He then became a silver. Then I added them all to my Adrian Bell tray. I'm almost done with it. And then I uh, used them all. Thank God I did because he's now only a bronze. So that could have taken a hit. 
Now there are a couple other cards. Um, some cards went from a common to a bronze. Uh, one of them was a closer for the Cincinnati Reds. Where is he? Where right here, Tony Singrani. He went from a sixty-eight to a sixty-nine, which is only a one overall upgrade, but I made him a bronze card. So if you have a bunch of him, you can quick sell him for twenty-five each, or if you're trying to do the Reds, that will help you out. He'll get more points. Um, and there's, I don't think there were any other cards. Oh, and then Rafael Montero, a starting pitcher. I, there's one other who went an upgrade. Rafael Montero, he went from a bronze and a common to a bronze. So if you're trying to do the Mets collection and you need it, feed players, if you had a bunch of those just sitting as commons because you can't quick sell them, you can or, or you may not have trouble selling them. You can now add them. He'll get a little extra boost in percentage. Um, and there are a few cards that went down from a common, I mean, from a bronze to a common. I'll just list their names. Uh, Ross Olenhor from Cincinnati. Uh, David Hale from Colorado. Uh, David Phelps from Miami went down. Uh, I think that is it for cards that switched from one tier to another. Again, not a huge upgrade this week. Hopefully they start doing some more soon. I understand that's a small sample size. I'm an advocate of small sample size. On Twitter, that's all I talk about is small sample size. But when this game is only for, for a year, you'd like to see them change them up uh, overall soon. For instance, Bryce Harper, give the guy a 99. Got to give him that 99. So hopefully they'll be, uh, be doing some more upgrades in the next week or so. Um, cross our fingers on that. Um, but yeah, that's about it for the video. Let me guys know in the comments below who you think will be getting an upgrade soon. Hopefully we get some more bigger upgrades. But that's it, guys. Take it easy, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.